Hi, it's Jackie Othen here with the Othen Group. If you've set a resolution together with someone on your own and you're determined to buy real estate this year, then I want you to pay attention to this video because I'm going to go through a couple of tips that are going to help ensure that you're successful and organized and ready to buy successfully this year. First things first, pre-approval. We've got a key drawn beside it thanks to my handy dandy assistant here. Why? Because it's the key to your success. Without a pre-approval in place, folks, you could be behind the eight ball. You could be touring properties that you're not qualified to buy, that you can't afford, and you're setting yourself up for disappointment. So the key, like a car, you can't go and buy a car without a driver's license, or I don't recommend it because it's not fun. I would recommend highly that you're in touch with a mortgage expert, broker, someone at your bank. We're happy to make that connection for you if you don't have someone you trust who can get you pre-approved because the rules have changed in 2018. They're not what they were last year. There are credit unions that don't follow the same guidelines as rules as conventional banks do and also other lenders that you can source and look at. We'd be happy to make that connection. So get your pre-approval down so you know what you can afford this year and you set yourself up for success, not disappointment. Interviewing realtors. When interviewing realtors, there's a few things to keep in mind. The most important one is the approach. What is that agent's approach to the buyers and the buyer process? Are they committed to making a buyer interview at the beginning of the process? I know we are. Our team, the way we handle it, we sit down with you for lunch, we sit down with you in the office or dinner to really figure out and ask lots of questions, so many questions to figure out what's important to you, what you need, why you need it, when you need it, so that we can deliver at the highest level possible. There's nothing worse than an agent looking in a community that you're absolutely not interested in or pushing prices or budgets or homes that are way out of your reach. So for us, we want you to buy a home, but we also want you to maintain your lifestyle and be able to go out and go to the movies with your family, enjoy dinners, go out and have a good time. And you know, if that means keeping up with the Joneses too, then we want to balance that off. We want you to be happy. We want you to have a life because that's what the house is all about. Okay. Home ownership is wonderful, but it's even more wonderful when you can continue to have the life that you've worked to dream of because that's all we do. We all work super hard. We want you to enjoy. The other question is how the post sale process is handled. I know for the Othen group here, we take great pride in taking care of our clients and ensuring we have a long standing relationship with you post sale. We have a lot of client events we keep in touch because we care. We want to see your family grow through the stages. I check in with clients at all sorts of times in their life because it's important because I genuinely care. I want to see their family grow up. I want to serve clients like them, their family, their relatives, people like them. So how does that realtor that you're interviewing handle post sale? Do, we, do they even know that there is a process post sale? And experience. How is the realtor going to make the experience one that's enjoyable? Buying a home can be stressful, but for the most part, it's meant to be fun and it's meant to be fast paced at times or slow at times. It can be whatever you like. We take our cues from the clients. If you're in a rush to go, we're ready to deliver and our time is your time. But we also want to help preview homes when you're busy at work and don't have time to go see five homes to figure out three don't work. So is that person going to offer that service and make sure that it's a customer service approach that they've got with their business? Get out there. If you're a buyer and really looking to buy in 2018, the only way you're going to find the house of your dreams is to get out there. Test commutes, stop into a local coffee shop, have lunch somewhere, go and see what the local people in that community are made up of and what they're doing and figure out whether you're going to be comfortable there and happy there and if it's a place that you plan to raise your family in. Or just is it a place that has enough coffee shops? I'm a huge Java fan and what I would love to know is am I driving 10 minutes to the nearest coffee shop or Starbucks or is there some place close by? And I've got kids, so recreational activities for me are high, high, high on the priority list and they're a huge part of my decision making. So whatever it is, get out there and explore. And if you don't have the time and you're unavailable, get the agent that you're working with to do the homework and the research for you. Because I know when we're working with clients, what we do is we'll provide that information to you so you don't have to go hunting for it. We'll provide you the school rankings if you need them, the neighborhood schools, whether they're public or Catholic, the transit routes in the area, how far you are to the GO station, all of that information to make your life easier, to help make your decision making easier. Get out there, folks. Get fit, get ready to buy, and get organized. Have a super day.